Hello, and welcome to another episode of Kiln Tech. We've recently had to change the brand of contactors we use in the L200 and L53, and they are a little different on the wiring, so we're doing videos just to show you if you do happen to have one fail, which doesn't happen often, how to change it over. Today I'll be showing you how to change the compressor contactor in the L200. Now please note, the heat contactor and the compressor contactor are different contactors. You cannot use the same one. Okay, these this is your typical L200 control board late style with the old style contactors. Now we've made a change and we're no longer using these and so I'm going to show you how to wire in the new style European contactors. First off, mark all your wires so that way you know where they go when it comes time to putting them back on. If you have a cell phone you can take a picture with, take a picture that'll help as well. But remove all the wires. And then remove the contactor. Okay, here's our two relays. They're quite a bit different. This is the old style open relays. These are the new style European relays. In Europe, they have a requirement for things to be finger safe. So if you notice, all the wire connections are such that you can't get a finger in to short yourself out. Makes it safer. So when you place this on, these holes will no longer line up exactly. You could probably reuse one, but you'll have to drill and tap another one. But for this sake, I'm just gonna set it here. Now, these type connectors will no longer work on these type blocks. So for your jumper, you're going to need to take this wire, cut an end off, probably get a new wire, and put one of these ends on it to connect on here, and then come over to the A2 power, not the A1. On these units, the A1 or L1 power is used for controls on everything. Also, this wire will no longer go here. It will come down along here. It will go on the A1 with this connector removed and stripped back. Or just a visual right now where you can see the block wired correctly. I'm just going to put this dummy wire in. This would have a tab on it to go to the jumper. Now to replace this wire, you'll just use a bare wire and feed it through. And into the terminal. This orange wire will go to your timer. There. Then you will have your two wires here that you pulled off. I'm going to use these two dummies as replacements to 
go to L1. Now when you're looking at this wiring, L or T means power or volt amperage. A is control. So that way you know if one's going to carry any real load of power. It doesn't mean you don't want to be careful. It just means you'll know what's going on at that spot. Now for your power coming out, again, these wires with the ends on them will not work. You'll have to strip them back, cut the ends off and strip them and reuse them. For this, the black goes to L1 or T1 on this side. These two wires, the red and the blue, the blue wire goes to the capacitor in the back for the compressor, the back of your control box. And wires in there. So it takes a little effort, but not a whole lot, and you can change to the new style contactors. Okay, so it's not very difficult just got to make sure you land the wires right, but that's how you change a compressor contactor. If you have any questions, give us a shout by email, comment on the video. My email will be down below. And like and subscribe, because we always like to know you're watching. If you like this video, but you've got to change your heat contactor, we have a companion video to this one on doing the heat contactor. Be sure to watch it because the wiring is different.